Hey everyone. So in last lecture we talked about expected value of a random variable, variance of a random variable, standard deviation of a random variable. Today we are going to concentrate on some nice properties that expected value of a random variable behaves. Okay, so this property usually help us in finding in solving the problems. So the first thing is this: what is expected value of a x plus b? If x is a random variable given to you, then what is expected value of a x plus b? So see what is the definition for the discrete case? It is summation. For integration case, here it will be integration in d of x. Same thing. Then you take the f of x inside and split the summation. For continuous, it will be integration d of x, integration d of x. You take out a outside. What is summation x f of x? Expected value of x. You take out b outside. What is summation of f of x? One. Sum of all probabilities is always one. So your a comes outside, e goes inside. So this is what you have. So like suppose if you, if you know that the expected value of x is given to be ten, and if someone asks you what is expected value of the function, say seven x plus pi. No need to be scared. So I want to find expected value of this, which is seven into expected value of x plus pi. This seventy plus pi is the answer. Okay. So like in competitive exams, such kind of results, knowing such kind of results always help. Now suppose if your a is zero, what is expected value of b? Your a is zero, so b. So for constant, the average is always the constant. It's obvious. Okay. What is expected value of a x when your b is zero? B is zero. B is zero. It is a times expected value of x. So the scalar comes outside. Okay, so these are some nice properties that one should know. What is another property? So we are done with the linearity. Now, if you have suppose two random variables, what is expected value of g of x plus h of x? Okay, so like if this is If x is a random variable, this is 2x plus 3. This is say sine x or something like that. Then what is the expected value of their addition? Well, it's linear. It splits, and the proof is easy. What is this summation? G of x plus h of x into your f of x. For continuous, it will be integration. Okay, so this is summation g of x into f of x plus summation h of x into f of x. So what is this? This is expected value of f of x. This is expected value of h of x. So again, the e goes inside. For minus, it will be minus minus minus. Okay. So for addition is good. For subtraction, it is good. What about for scalar multiplication? It is good. So one can ask. For a product also, it is good. And for division also, it is good. Answer is no. Expectation of x into y is not equal to expectation of x into expectation of y, and expectation of x upon y is not equal to expectation of x upon expectation of y. No, that is not true. Okay, there is something called as approximation, but we will see sometimes, sometime later. But then, when something is nice, then this is true. Something is nice as in when your x and y are independent random variables. Now, what is independent random variables? I told in my earlier lecture, so do have a look. Uh, so just let me recall for the completion. If for x and y, f of x y is the joint probability distribution, and if it is equal to g of x into h of y, where this is the marginal probability distribution for x, marginal probability distribution for y. So if this things happens, then we say that x and y are independent random variables. So if we have such a scenario, then this is true. Is this obvious? Yes, because what is this? This is summation x y into f of x comma y. But what is this? This is summation x y. X and y are independent random variables, so this is your g of x into h of y. I am doing for discrete case. The same thing goes for continuous case. Integration d of x minus infinity to infinity. Integration minus infinity to infinity d of x. Double integration will come. Okay, we are in two variables, so double integration. Your x comma y. I can also write double summation x and y, but it's okay. I'm writing with one summation x y. But for integration, double integration minus infinity to infinity minus infinity to infinity. So this is summation x. You can separate. You can take x g x together into summation y y h of y. So this is expectation of g of x, expectation of x into expectation of y. 
so when you have independent random variables then expectation behaves good with the product as well okay otherwise it's not true in general and for division no even for independent random variables things are not same okay uh, whatever the property i told you for g of x and h of x like expected value of what is g of x plus minus h of x it splits it is e of g of x plus minus e of h of x this was true for one variable in general this is also true for multi random variable okay so if you have e if you have two joint probability distribution g of xy plus minus h of xy these are two joint pdf for random variables x and y then again the expectation gets split and the same for three variable four variable and in general n variables okay so that was one thing now let us try to see solve this problem so here you have two the distribution is given to you i want to find expected value of z where z is your x into y so what is expectation value of x y now it is given okay should have written x and y are independent random variables that is given to you in the question and that's why your job becomes very easy there is nothing but the expected value of x into expected value of y what is expected value of x it is integration 2 to infinity 8x raised to minus 3 dx x into f of x right so minus 2 plus integration 0 to 1 y into h of y so 2 y square dy so this is the first homework for you solve this and tell me what is the answer for this question okay so see if they are not independent then it is difficult to solve then you can't solve because here summation it will be x y into you don't have the joint uh, pdf so here they are given separately because it is given in the question that they are independent random variables okay so yeah just solve this and post the answer in the comment section so here is another example a joint no so a probability distribution is given for a continuous random variable you want to find the mean okay so what is expected value expected value of x it is integration 0 to infinity x into f of x So now here you need to apply u into v rule. Okay, so I'm not going to do this. I gave you the enough hint or enough idea. Okay, I want to find expected value of x plus 5 the whole square. What is this? This is nothing but x square plus 10x plus 25. But just now we saw expected value splits. So this is expected value of x square plus 10 into expected value of x plus expected value of constant is always constant so this 25 is there expected value of x you are going going to find it from here you put it over here expected value of x square is what integration 0 to infinity x square into f of x upon 5 dx so this you get from here and here you need to apply integration by parts two times and you will get the answer so you get the answer for second question as well now what is variance variance is nothing but expected value of x square which you are going to find over here minus expected value of x the whole square which you have got it from here so this is also done and once you have variation your standard deviation is positive square root of variance so yeah if you get time try to solve this as well and comment your answer in the comment section so i hope you have got enough idea now in the next lecture we will talk about properties of variance of a random variable thank you